Hello. Uh, in this video, we will talk about uh, collections, including synchronized versions. Iterator can throw concurrent exception if they are not got it by the correct lock. Let's take a look at an example. Um, here we have a hash set. Let's copy this to Eclipse. Okay, here uh, we have a hash set, which is not thread safe. However, all the add and remove are guarded by synchronized keyword. So it appears to us uh, we should uh, uh, managing this hash set should be thread safe. We can have multiple uh, threads to uh, manage in this set. However, <clears throat> there is a hidden iterator uh, in this system out print line. So what could happen is when you try to print this set, um, uh, a set to string is called. So what the set to string is doing? If we step into the hash set and implement to string this way, it is get the iterator. And um, and it's uh, iterate through all the elements and uh, finally uh, append them to a string buffer. So even though we didn't explicitly use an iterator, uh, the two string used uh, uh, use a hidden iterator. So what could happen is uh, while your code is uh, where uh, one of your thread is trying to print and it is using the iterator, another thread could just uh, remove the uh, element or edit an uh, element. So your iterator will throw a concurrent, uh, concurrent uh, and modification exception. So uh, here we try to create a, a race condition. We first, uh, in the main thread, we add 10 uh, things. And uh, we start another thread. In this thread, we are trying to remove elements. And uh, again, we're trying to add uh, 10 things. So the main thread, uh, after add 10 things, is trying to print out. While the other thread is trying to modify the, uh, modify the hash set. So if we are not lucky, the main thread, uh, while the main thread is trying to iterate through the set in order to print, the set is content change. We will get a concurrent modification exception. Let's run the program. And uh, this time is fine. Next time, fine. So if we run this uh, long enough, sooner or later, we will bump into issue. OK, we, we just uh, saw issue, but I just uh, just click too far, uh, fat finger. <laughs> OK, let's uh, run it. Uh, come on. OK. Now we see the concurrent modification exception. Uh, where it is thrown? It is in the main thread. It's during the print. OK, we are uh, trying to append things. And um, um, it's in the hidden iterator. We are trying to print. And uh, at that point, we throw concurrent uh, modification exception. So how to fix this? The fix is easy. We just need to synchronize. So, synchronized on uh, the same lock. So, here, those uh, set is guarded by this. So, if we are trying to synchronize, we use the uh, intrinsic lock. Okay, 
so this time we should be fine and um, we can run this program as long as we like we should not run into this problem and um, if you are trying to uh, use a debugger you will see only one thread can hold the lock so in order to print you have to hold the lock in order to print so we shouldn't uh, uh, be able to iterate where other uh, program where other thread is it uh, is uh, modifying the content so yes um, let's run through okay now the main thread is holding the lock and no other thread can and can proceed okay Add 10 elements and it goes through. Okay, now um, the main thread again is adding the elements and um, it's always holding the lock. And the, the other thread cannot uh, proceed because uh, it don't have the lock. So um, that's, um, that's how we guarantee the thread safety. Okay, now the thread of the lock the main thread cannot proceed so we shouldn't have any problem because only one thread can hold the lock and proceed okay this is um, this is a topic of, of uh, this section